Hey guys, Sonyam here with Sonyam Gameplays and Tutorials, and uh, today I'll do a tutorial on how to make your PC faster. How you can make this faster for gaming or faster for an overall performance boost. Um, so I've, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so um, I decided I'll do it now. So I'm sorry for the bad, uh, for the lack of this video, the screen recorder. I don't have any screen recorder. You can see I don't have Camtasia Studio, but anyways, so, the first thing you'll have to do uh, to make your PC faster is switch to the classic theme and use a solid desktop background. To do that, there are two ways, but I recommend you not do it from this way, which is through Personalize and Windows Classic. Basically, right -click, your, uh, right click the computer and then select Properties and then advance system settings in the advanced tab as you already are click on performance and settings there settings so and then click adjust for best performance and uh, just select only the show contents uh, while dragging I, re I recommend you using the smooth edges uh, of screen fonts uh, with it too so two only checks and just for, per for pe best performance and then smooth edges for good growth and show windows contents while dragging so click ok ok you should have changed to this theme but then uh, go to personalize and change your desktop background to a solid color whatever you like I like the blue one so yeah and the next thing you have to do is uh, this is optional is using Microsoft uh, Ready Boost. So I have three USBs using the Ready Boost uh, thingy. I don't know why I'm lacking, but oh well. So um, you can, if you have a spare USB drive more than one gigabyte, I recommend you four or eight um, or above. If you have a 64-bit computer or four gigabytes and uh, um, two and one gigabytes if you have uh, a 32 bit operating system you can see it by right clicking computer go to properties and then you see system type I have 64 bit operating system so um, just right click your, your uh, USB that you want to have and then select properties then go to the ready boost tab note that, note that some uh, some devices might not be able to use Ready Boost. Um, I recommend if you have like uh, more than four gigabytes uh, USB flash drive to format it. Oops. To format it as XFAT, so it can do the allocation stuff. So that's uh, about this one. The next thing to do up your PC. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so these uh, next steps are for gamers. So um, just make uh, your PC at lower settings, uh, your game at lower settings, and you can use these two programs which are called, the first one is called Game Fire, and it's a pretty, fi a pretty good um, thing. I don't have it running at this time, but my PC is it's fast enough. Um, so let me run it. This is the user interface for it. Um, you can go to Game Advisor and you can do uh, whatever you want to there. A game profile. Um, yeah. Just select whatever you want to, then click switch to gaming mode. You can see it's freeing up memory and it's none now. So you can see my CPU usage and processes are gone. Um, it's pretty lower. And the other thing is GBoost, the other application you can use. So GBoost is a program ma and it uh, might not uh, do for all operating systems. Uh, it works for Vista XP and 7 and 8. But um, sometimes GBoost doesn't work on some computers. So that's the settings I'm using for GBoost. If I want to play, I don't I don't use those anymore. 
uh, because the PC, this PC is brought back to life and it's faster. I didn't really buy a new one. But anyway, just click to boost. You can see it's uh, it says a boosting thing. And you can see your CPU usage, your free memory. And as you can see, my PC is boosted at 100%. Um, that should be faster. You can see one click. And you can see all these applications are basically they're unneeded. Still, if you want to use them, Ready Boost, uh, it, it won't affect Ready Boost if you want to use Ready Boost. But, anyways, um, I guess that's all the stuff I wanted to say. If you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comment, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to see and know when I'm uploading videos, please click that subscribe button. It really helps me a lot. Every single one person I subscribed is pretty awesome, and also every single person that watches my videos are, are pretty awesome. You can be one of those awesome people too. It doesn't require you to subscribe, but you can do it. It's free. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.